Mallory, and this is Station 13 of Stations of the Cross. As we head toward Easter together, we are walking with Jesus in his journey toward the cross and his journey toward death. To help us do this, we are walking through what is commonly called the Stations of the Cross. These are 14 separate movements where we are walking with Jesus. We are going to engage with scripture, we will have personal application, and we will invite you to spend as much time as you would like to connect to God. In order to do this, feel free to click pause at any time for as long as you need. And also, it may be helpful to keep a journal or a piece of paper with you as you go through these stations. Let us pray together. As we enter this exercise, we pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter our scattered senses upon the presence of God. God, in this moment, I want to be awake to your presence. Lead me as I walk with Jesus toward the cross. Let's take 30 seconds of silence. Feel free to pause the video now for the silence. Our first scripture is from Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 8 through 9. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned to the grave with the wicked. And with the riches in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Our next scripture is from Mark chapter 15 verses 42 through 47. It was preparation day, that is, the day before the Sabbath. So as evening approached, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent member of the council, who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate was surprised to hear that he was already dead. Summoning the centurion, he asked him if Jesus had already died. When he learned from the centurion that it was so, he gave his body to Joseph. So Joseph brought some linen cloth, took down the body, and wrapped it in linen and placed it in a tomb cut out of rock. Then he rolled the stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. When Jesus was born, the Magi came, bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, frankincense is being used on his body as it was wrapped in linen. Let us pray to close. Father, help me live this day to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, Help me give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me love the last, proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen.